Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, and sometimes hair, so that sounds like a thing, make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of stuff you're not gonna see here on YouTube. I am at my vanity, so sorry if the lighting's a bit off, I have my vanity lights on and then the window's over there shining on here but today i just want to do an update on my daily routine uh morning skincare routine this isn't like a quarantine routine or anything because my skincare routine hasn't really changed and i still go out to walk the dog so it's not like i'm cooped up inside but yeah i just thought i'd kind of like um do my routine keep it a bit chatty and maybe you could do your morning or evening routine with me. So let's go. Usually in the morning, I don't cleanse my face with a like a cleanser. I just splash it with water. But last night I used quite a few um, heavier products and I woke up like a little bit oily. Um, I maybe applied a bit too much last night. So especially as the weather's getting warmer and I wake up even a little bit sweatier than usual, I do like to rinse away all that um, not all that sweat, the little, I made myself sound so gross, that little bit of sweat and oil and excess product that's left on my skin. Um, I sometimes find that just a splash of water doesn't do that as the weather gets warmer. So of course, match hemp hydrating cleanser, but I'd also, also been loving um, the Peach and Lily Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. It's really nice and soothing. This has chamomile in. It's very similar to the match hemp hydrating cleanser um, in the sense that it leaves your skin feeling nice and soft after and not stripped bare of all oils. It's just really, really nice. But yes, I'll talk a bit more about this in my evening routine video, which I'll do next week. Okay, so my next face, I usually go straight onto damp skin, but I've been setting up my camera. So I'm just gonna re-damp my skin with this spray water. water in a can. And then I'm gonna go in with my toner. I know a lot of people think toners aren't necessary. I personally love them. Um, I feel like if I do my skincare routine and I haven't used a toner, my skin looks a little bit dull and just plain and a bit flat, but I do feel like a toner really, really adds that glow and look of hydration to the skin. So this is the Cosrx Propolis Synergy Toner. I've not had much luck with Propolis products. I don't know why, I just kind of find that they don't ever really do anything for me. But what I love about about, um, but what I love about this toner is it's just a nice hydrating toner. It's got glycerin in, butylene glycol. It's got panthenol in it as well. So really, really nice and soothing and repairing for your skin. Again, this is a product I love using at the moment just cause it's like refreshing as the weather gets warmer. I like to use something like a little bit soothing on the skin. I find that, because I wear like sunscreen religiously every day, but I kind of layer it up a little bit more in the summer. I do find that my skin freaks out a little bit the more I start to reapply and reapply and reapply sunscreen. So products like this toner, really, really kind of helps just soothe those temporarily irritated areas. And I'll find that my skin after like a week of um, constant sunscreen application just kind of gets used to it. What I do is I absolutely soak a cotton pad. I like to go in the cotton pad at the moment to like wipe away any excess cleanser that might be stuck in like the eyebrows, in the hairline. Cause I find out that if I don't do that, I can break out a fair bit. I mean, I trimmed up my beard and I cut my own hair the other day as well, which probably wasn't a good idea, but especially as I wasn't able to get my hair cut before, um, I find that the thicker my hair gets inside, the more kind of um, uh, like cleanser can get caught in it, not caught in it, but it's di more difficult to wash away without than having to wash your hair, do you know what I mean? Like I do that to kind of like get rid of any excess cleanser. And then I just do a little bit in my hands and then tap that in very gently. For people that always comment, I do do my neck. I just leave it out because I feel like it's a really horrible thing to watch. I can't really talk whilst I'm doing it as well. Like what? So I do do my neck, but um, I always just show you my face. But yes, do everything to your neck as well. Do as to your neck as you wish to your face. <laughs> I believe is the exact saying. Tap it in a little bit, then leave that just a little bit untapped in. So not damp, but I don't ever fully tap in the whole product. I don't usually do an essence in the morning, but at the moment, as I said, um, my constant reapplication of sunscreen is kind of like triggering my skin to freak out a little bit. I also had a bit of a rough play with my puppy the other day. She got a little bit too excited and I got a little bit too excited and my nose ended up in her mouth. <laughs> She didn't, she didn't bite me, but I kind of like whacked my nose on her teeth, which was not the best thing. So I've got a bit of, I've got a cut here and I've got some um, grazing up here, which you can't really see on camera, thankfully. But um, 
just to soothe that down and help that heal up, I'm starting to use the, um, I'm not starting to use, I've clearly used it for a very long time, but the Time Revolution Artemisa, Artemisa Treatment Essence. Um, this isn't a first essence, um, but this is of course Misha. Um, it's basically mugwort essence, which is really, really good again for soothing and healing skin. Um, I've been loving this, like absolutely loving it. Even when my skin isn't in any form of like, irritation or going through any kind of like redness or blotchiness i just find that it's soothing on the skin it makes my skin look nice and plump and dewy but when i do have some irritation this is almost instantly soothing i apply it a tiniest drop of this essence isn't something that you want to layer up um as we discussed with kelly driscoll if you haven't seen our collaboration video go watch it um, she is incredible. Her videos are full of knowledge and good skincare product tips as well. Perfect. But yeah, I like this. I'm waiting on the spray version of this and I've also got an ample coming. Um, I just like it. I do prefer this that I'm from Mugwort Essence but I can't really tell you why. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think it's cause like I'm a religious Misha first treatment essence user or fan of. So yeah, I've been a big, big fan of this. Next up, we are gonna go into a serum. I am using a vitamin C serum. This is the Inky List 15% vitamin C and EGF. I love this. This is like probably one of the best vitamin C serums I've ever used. I used to, I still like the Claire's 5% vitamin C serum, but I feel like I need to graduate onto a stronger vitamin C now. Um, and this is a 15%. So I literally do one pump of that, maybe two. <laughs> and then just pat gently over the skin. This doesn't smell. It hasn't got like a horrible tingling sensation. It doesn't smell like copper or money. So I don't know if I keep going in and out of focus. So EGF I've learned is great for kind of like skin rejuvenation and plumping up the skin. And of course the vitamin C to help brighten the skin. I've been using this for about probably like, oh God over a couple of months, like every day, like solidly every day, um, every morning I've been using it. And I've noticed a massive difference in my redness. And for some reason, I didn't think vitamin C for mild rosacea was a thing, but looking it up, a lot of people have said that uh, vitamin C is good for rosacea. Um, and yeah, this is really, really nice. It's not sticky at all. And I feel like the EGF is such a nice added boost that kind of makes sense to go alongside this like treatment step. This was 15 pounds and I really do think it's worth it. It's lasting me forever, like the longest time. But yeah, really, really like it. So what I'm gonna do now is use a moisturizer. Um, As I mentioned, it's getting warmer outside. I like to lay out my sunscreen a fair bit. So I tend to opt for a lightweight, quite simple moisturizer. Uh, this can be oat so simple water cream from Crave. So of course this contains oats. Um, again, sorry, I'm just looking in my mirror. Again, really nice and soothing. This has a really cooling sensation on the skin as well. So I've been loving it, like particularly on the warmer mornings. I will add a bit more to my neck, but yeah. Um, yeah, so oats, lovely and soothing. And what I do like about this um, moisturizer being so simple is that a lot of, a lot of people say that it's just the basic moisturizer and it is, but a lot of the basic moisturizers I've used before have felt very clinical. They felt very thick. They all smell like um, plastic. <laughs> they've not been nice to use, especially on oily skin. Um, they've not been as, I've not had a simple, um, moisturizer with key beneficial ingredients that hasn't felt horrible on the skin. I have to be honest, they've always felt thick and heavy and almost give you like this like cold sweat kind of feeling. I Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes I get like this really horrible, um, like you put it on your face instantly feels like you're having like a flush. But that's the thing when it, it comes to like the formulation of the product, this is so nice and light but still feels so beneficial for my skin in the sense that it feels soothed, it feels repaired after a couple of weeks of use. And more importantly, my skin doesn't feel bogged down as I'm now about to go into my sunscreen stage. I have been using the Bure UV Watery Gel. I didn't do my research very well last year and I kind of like stock bought these because I love the gel and the other, the, the essence version of these. And unfortunately they're not cruelty free. I didn't know they were owned by a bigger conglomerate that weren't cruelty free. So I'm kind of gutted, but I've got a lot of this stuff and I need to use it. I won't be repurchasing it. Um, but something like this, let me find a better. Crave Beauty is a great cruelty free option as well. And Troy Arake, I never say it right. Axon UV Protector Essence is 
pretty much the same as in texture and lightweight um, kind of formula and cruelty free. But an alternative I've been loving as well that feels exactly the same as the UV ones is the Thank You Pharma Sun Project Light Essence. I absolutely love this. I'm gonna show you this now. I've got a technique of applying my sunscreen that I've really, really been liking and actually really helps along um, the beard line, facial hair. Even if you don't have beard or facial hair along the hairline to kind of like get it into those areas. So I bought these reusable air puffs from Amazon. They're just like little makeup puffs, obviously, but they're silicone, so you can just rinse them off and then reuse them. So Fiddy Snails does the free finger method, which I absolutely love. Um, it just gives you a really, really good indication of how much sunscreen you can use. I like to massively over apply, basically, um, because I'd rather have too much than not enough. This technique isn't for everyone. <laughs> this is just my personal technique and what I like to do. Go into the beard as well. I actually use a different um, sunscreen for my neck um, because <laughs> I use a thicker one for my neck because I feel like it can take like a nice thicker sunscreen. Um, and <laughs> I also like to use a cheaper sunscreen for my neck because I use so much. So what I do is I take the puff. You can't really see that, can you? Take the puff, just start patting that in. And what I find this does is gives me a good even spread without, you know, like wiping it around. Because of the silicone material, not a lot of transfer happens, but then I've also over applied. Um, so a little bit of transfer happens, but not enough to like mean I need to like reapply loads, if that makes sense. And this helps like flatten it into the beard. It does take a while. I don't put it around my eyes because I just wear sunglasses when I go out. This doesn't sting at all. You can see it, it doesn't take too long. It's going in quite well. <laughs> and yeah, that is my sunscreen done. Feels nice and even. I don't feel like I've missed anywhere because of this puff. I was able to kind of like go into my hairline like that and make sure like I've got some coverage in the thinner parts of my facial hair and my hairline as well. I just find it like really, really convenient. And I've noticed, I have noticed a difference to when I used to do that and didn't. Like I'd get very dark along this bit here, um, which is fine. It's obviously just tan as an indication of where my 50 plus PA plus 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 is, isn't really getting, if that makes sense. But um, it would be more of like a reddish brown rather than a nice golden brown. And ever since I started doing that, I've noticed that like it's pretty, a uh, pretty much more even um, coverage. So then what I'll do is I'll use like my Claire's SPF all under my neck, only because I have a much bigger, um, I have a much bigger tube of it. And I don't feel like it's gonna go as quick. I apply a lot. I have to be honest though guys, when I go out, I wear, even in the summer, I cover up. I'm not a shorts and t-shirt kind of guy. I will wear a light shirt. Don't forget your ears. Yeah, I'll wear a shirt, I'll wear jeans, I'll wear trousers. I don't expose a lot of skin. I will often wear a cap and sunglasses. I always wear sunglasses. But yeah, I don't I don't enjoy summer. And I don't enjoy being out in the sun. So I do kind of like hide away anyway. Oh, also, can I just say, a lot of people always ask in my videos, they're like, oh, your skin's glowing, what is it? I'm like, I think it's literally just my sunscreen. I feel like sunscreen gives a really nice, even glow to your skin. Especially ones like these lightweight essences are really, really nice. The next thing I do, I have laminated brows. So it's important to oil up your brows pretty much every day after you've laminated them. You've pretty much destroyed the fibers of your hair. So you've got to kind of like treat them good for the rest of the time until they're kind of back to normal. My eyebrows are pretty much not playing ball anymore. So they could do with a relamination, but I think it's a bit too soon. So I'm gonna give it a bit of a break between sessions. Lip balm on days like this, I use a SPF 50 Sun Care Lip Screen. Screen? <laughs> this is UVA and UVB protection. This is horrible. Um, but what I do like about it is it's not like the other sunscreens. You don't get like this um, chemical chemicals. You don't get this like, um, chemically taste, you know, you can't taste the actual product. This goes on super white, um, but after a while it goes back to its like normal 
colour, like it dies down, it like settles down a little bit. Only when I'm filming or I go out, I feel like my lips lack a bit of like, um, pop to them because I don't wear makeup but what I do sometimes do is get like a lip tint I go in the middle of my lips and what I do is give myself like this almost like bleeding lip effect it's really subtle but I do feel like it just kind of like makes them can I zoom in just gives like a bit of definition to them, especially if I'm on camera and I'm using this um, SPF lip balm. They can look very, very pale. So I tend to just use like a little tint in the middle to kind of like make me not look dead, basically. Then that is it. That is my morning routine done. Things I do off camera, obviously like clean my ears and brush my teeth that I'm not gonna show you on here, put deodorant on. But yes, I will be recording my evening routine tonight. So I'll be sharing that with you this week, next week, depending on when I post this video. Let me know your go-to sunscreen. I would love to discover some more and products that you have to use in the morning, like products you swear by in the morning. But yes, that is it from me now, guys. I will see you next time. Thank you.